The President. Good afternoon, Mr. Ian Sari. Is your name Ian Sari? Besides the name Ian Sari, do you have any other names? Response one. Question. Besides one, do you have any other name? For example, Kum Trang. Response. My, I was born in Campuchia, Krom, and my birth name is Kum Trang. Thank you, says the president. What is your date of birth? Response. Twenty-four October. 1924, 25 rather. Thank you. And your place of birth, as you said, in Kampuchea Crown, in which village, commune, or district? Response In Wa district, in Travin district, Travin. Province. Question Where was your residence before the arrest? Response It was behind the Russian embassy adjacent to Swai Pope Pagoda. I cannot recall the house number. Question. During the investigation faced by the co investigating judges, you provided them with the information that you were at House 37B, Mundul Boon, Songkat Tole Basa, Khan Chemkamon. Is that correct? Response. That's the house. That house belongs to my children, and I resided with them. Question. What is your father's name? Response. Kum Riem. Question. What is your mother's name? Response. Trang Ti Lai. Question. What is your wife's name? Response. Thi Rat. Question. How many children do you have? Respond. Three daughters and one son. Question. How many siblings do you have? And what were your position amongst your siblings? I have one elder brother, one elder sister, and I was the last child in the family. Question, Mr. Ian Sari, can you provide us briefly with your educational background, starting from your youth until you came to work for the Democratic Cambodia regime? Excuse me, Mr. President, Your Honors. Back on 24 October 2011, we filed a notice with a waiver by Mr. Ing Sari where he had indicated that he does not intend to answer any questions. While it's perfectly okay to ask him who he is and how old he is and who his mother and father and children are, at this point in time, I believe Mr. Ing Sari wishes to read a statement which we prepared for him, given that we anticipated that the trial chamber would attempt to question Ing Sri despite his unequivocal announcement that he intended to exercise his constitutional right to remain silent. 
And at this point in time, I would ask you to allow Mr. Inks Reed to read the statement that was prepared uh, for him for the record and thereafter that he never again uh, be called to the stand unless he so wishes to answer any further questions. Thank you. The President, thank you for explaining that to the Chamber. The accused has the right to not respond to any question. We are wanting to know the educational background of the accused, which is a general question in regards to the identification of each accused. It has nothing to do with the confessions. Some group. Sorry, Mr. President, I can uh, respond to some of your questions, and when I can, I'd like to read my statement. The President, before you read your statement, let me proceed with the formality before the Chamber. And after we finish with the formality and the procedure before the Chamber, you can proceed. And Mr. Ying Seri, as an accused before this Chamber, from this day onward and during the subsequent trials until the conclusion of the hearing in case 002. You have the following rights. To be defended by a lawyer of your choice or as appointed during every stage of the proceedings. The Chamber has noted that since the investigation phase until today, you have two defense lawyers, one national and one international. During each stage of the proceedings before the Chamber, you have the right to remain silent. You have the right not to self-incriminate. You have the right to be informed of the charges against you. The question I will ask you is that, have you been notified of the charges against you? Response, yes, I have. Thank you, says the President. Mr. Insari, are you exercising your right to remain silent on the questions that will be put to you by the Chamber or by other parties? Insari, I'd like to read my statement. Mr. President, Your Honours, I'd like to use my right to remain silent, not to respond to any questions at this time. This right is mentioned in Internal Rule 36 and 30 in Article 36 and 38 of the Constitution of the Kingdom of Cambodia, and I am exercising this right during the entire trial proceeding, and I do not intend to respond to any question. The President, thank you, Mr. President, for expressing your clear status regarding this right. Judge Lavange, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. 
for the sake of clarity. At the start of these hearings, we read out the relevant parts of the closing order concerning the historical background and a certain number of paragraphs about the role of the accused or roles. I would like to know if Mr. Yang Sari not only refuses to answer all of the questions, but if he also refuses to provide any explanation or comment whatsoever in relation to the paragraphs that were read out to him. Before Mr. Yang Sari answers that question, I don't know whether something was lost in translation, but I heard the word refuse. He is exercising his constitutional right to remain silent. Whether that is a refusal or not, it matters little. What matters is he's exercising his full constitutional right not to answer any questions at any phase during this trial or any other trial that's contained within the closing order. We've noted, we've noted this already to the trial chamber before in writing. He has now expressed it, and I would respectfully request that he not answer that question or any other question because he's already indicated that he does not wish to answer any questions and that he's exercising his full constitutional right as he's entitled to. Thank you. Just to be clear, it is not being contested that Mr. Ying Sari might refuse to answer any question, but it needs to be clear at this juncture, here and now, that the possibility has been granted to the accused to react and make comments upon the reading of the relevant parts of the closing order. and. As I understand it, he has not any intention of making any comment on that. That's all I wish to know. Perhaps Mr. Ying Sari can answer on his own. Thum Group. Ying Sari, Mr. President, Jonas, I do not have an intention to answer any question as I just read out in my statement. The president, as the accused, expressly waived his right to answer any questions that will be put by the judges and the parties. Security guards to started to bring the accused back to his seat behind his lawyers. <laughs> 